Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Welcome back, wildlings. Tonight's dose of internet insanity. Eye doser. Have you ever heard of an eye doser? It's something that you can find on the internet that's used to achieve the simulated feeling of a drug through the usage of binaural beats. There are well over 100 doses or dosers, and some of them can be incredibly hard to find. Now, what if I told you that I found the rarest eye doser that's ever existed? I came across this one on the eye doser store. I was rather bored, so I just started searching and eventually came up and eventually started using the words rare and exclusive and eventually I came up with the fantastic idea of searching Satan. At first one result flashed for a split second but then it disappeared again. I was confused, so I tried it again. Same result. Well, I, I started up my camera, and I did it again, hoping to catch the unnatural result on film. And I did. So after searching it a couple more times, just to be sure, I stopped the recording, and backed up the footage, started looking it over at original speeds. The result flashed in and out like it did without recording and I slowed the footage down to a near standstill where I could just barely make out the text. It read Satan's song. Now I, I, I know it's cheesy and everything but I have to admit I was a little scared. I stared at my computer screen in shock. So, who had done this? Why was this popping up and leaving the screen so quickly? Were they trying to hide this, but unsuccessfully? None of it made sense. I went to Google and I punched in Satan's song, and I came up with some boards about supernatural internet phenomena. Apparently, this product was a banned rare eye doser. Only a few people had ever listened to it without being afflicted with dementia, paranoia, and ultimately death after, of course, a seven-day time span. But even the people who had survived it had gone missing after listening to the dose. So I said F this and left it alone, but after a couple days passed, I did some research, and uh, one night came home from work only to find my desktop up and running with one file on it. Everything else from my research was gone. The folder read out satanssong.exe. I opened the file, of course, and uh, it sat there, satansong.exe, waiting to be activated. So, I, uh, I put a sock over my eyes and put my speakers up to maximum volume and started the dose. At first, it was just a quiet humming noise. Then, the volume exploded with shrieks and screams of what sounded like people dying. In the background, I heard a mix of previous doses such as Hand of God, Gates of Hades, and so forth. I opened my eyes under the sock that I had on my face, and what I opened my eyes to was a horror. 
It looked like I had taken a train to hell. Corpses lay everywhere, blood leaking up to my feet. Oh, the blood. I felt it on my feet. It was warm and it was a sickening crimson and I bent forward and vomited. My bile mixed with the blood, turning it a greenish red. I, I felt something soft fall off my eyes, the sock I deduced. The visions, well, they could have stopped upon the blindfold falling off my face and my eyes opening, but they kept going. I felt pain explode all along my body. Blood dripped down from my genitals, my stomach, my chest, arms, and legs, and I looked down at myself to find massive spikes skewering each spot that the blood had come from. I felt tears roll down my face and screamed. This couldn't be real. This was impossible. And I looked to the area around me to find it exploding in lava and blood when a path began to form out of nowhere in front of me. I didn't want to follow it, but it was really the only thing that I could do. So I did. It was terrible. The screams of the departed echoed around me. I was still bleeding from my wounds. I should have died from blood loss, but I I wasn't dead. I wished I were. It would have been better than this, most definitely, but eventually I was able to crawl to the end of the path where a spiked gate awaited me. I pushed it open and fell forward. That's when I came back to reality. So I found out that I was not the only one who had had this experience, and because of that, this eye doser had removed the Satan dotes from their vault and designed a much lighter version of it called the aforementioned Gates of Hades. Now, as the name implies, Gates of Hades is designed to give you the experience of looking into hell without actually entering it, like the Satan dose did. This replacement dose is still only recommended for mature users that are aware of the type of experience they're attempting. Feedback from the users of Gates of Hades is equally unpleasant, with reports of nightmares and closed-eye hallucinations even after the dose. I strongly suggest not searching for any of this. Even now, I'm plagued with visions of what happened and where I think I went. And just to keep myself in check and in reality, I have to actually touch physical things to make sure that I'm still here. Like right now, I. I'm gripping the edge of the seat as hard as I can. I can only pray that the illusions don't continue. Okay, okay, before you say anything, yes, I understand that wasn't quite as scary as some of the other uh, stories that I'm used to reading on this channel. I like to dip into the cheese every now and again just to remind people that there are authors out there who put a lot of effort into making a quality product and things could be much worse and that's all i'm going to say about it stay scary my wildlings and make the most of your nights <laughs>